Welcome to Boat Show TV. Thanks for joining us for our coverage of the 29th Annual Palm Beach International Boat Show, held under beautiful blue skies in downtown Palm Beach and presented by Show Management. Today, we feature fishing boats from Contender, Pursuit, Regulator, Nortec, and Jupiter. We also check out Formula Yachts and the world's fastest center console boat, as well as indulge in some celebrity hunting. Let's join Boat Show TV co-host Don Mull to check out the latest contender fishing machine. Hey Mike, how you doing today? Don, I'm doing great. Good to see you as always, buddy. Tell me about this brand new 35 contender behind us. This is our new step bottom contender. It's a 70 mile an hour rocket ship. It's powered by triple 300s. Uh, it is so awesome in rough water, you can't believe it. You take me for a ride when the a show's over? Absolutely, man. Let's go. It. Let's go rock and roll. I love it. And then, you know, if you look at the fishing room forward, back of the boat, you got a huge fish box in the bow. You got an anchor locker. You can put a windlass on the boat if you want it. It's got a big walk in head with a porcelain electric head in it. A real head for the ladies. A, a real head for the ladies, That's not nice. one of these plastic ones. That's it's real a, nice. It's a nice one. And it's got the side entrance on the console, so it makes it easy to get into. Okay. Then okay. when you get back here, it's all fly-by-wire uh, Yamaha controls. You have the fiberglass leaning post with the slide-out rigid frigid cooler. Okay. Now you've got two huge live wells in the back. They're all pressurized. They're 42 gallons a piece. And for those guys that want more, you got a 50-gallon one in the floor. Okay, I see that they, you have a tent to the, inside the live wells. What's that about? Yeah, it's ice blue. It kind of keeps the bait calm. It looks good, you know, and it's different. Okay, okay. Um, now, what did you say the speed was on this boat? 70? 70 miles an hour. An honest 70 miles an, an hour? An honest 70 miles an hour. But the thing I like it, you know, I do a lot of tournament fishing. Right, right. If you have the turn, winning fish in the boat and then blow a lower unit or something, boat will still run close to 50 on two. With two. That, yeah, that's you know, that's, that's the big feature. Up next, here on Boat Show TV. We join yachting expert, Captain Richard Murray, as we discover the features and benefits that separate Formula Yachts from the rest of the pack. I just stepped aboard the 45-foot Formula and found the USA sales rep here, Mr. Scott Kern. Scott, tell me a little bit about this boat and specifically some of the, the features where we don't see in the engine room. Absolutely. I understand this thing's got a pretty cool joystick control system. Yeah, we're aboard our 45 yacht, and the neat thing about this boat is you have this uh, IPS joystick control. With that system, you actually get pods on the boat that turn, and as you want to maneuver the boat, you don't need to use the conventional sticks. You can actually articulate the boat, put it where you want it without having to do anything other than just move this simple joystick. And with that, you get the nice diesel engines, so they're Volvo D600s. They make actually 435 horsepower, but since they're forward-facing propellers, it's like having much more uh, power because they're so efficient. Is that why they call them 600s? They do. Yeah, they call it that because if it was a conventional system, it would be almost like having 600 horsepower. Very cool. Sounds like something my eight-year-old could learn to drive. Just walking down the formula display and I caught up with an old friend here. Scott Grosky is a yacht broker here at Sundance and I couldn't help but notice the beautiful vivid colors on your formula boats. Tell me a little bit about that process. Uh, thanks. Well, the formula boats, they, uh, they're they known for beautiful mold work, which starts the process, but they use an Imron paint by DuPont rather than gel coat like a lot of other manufacturers use. Gel coat, we all know, fades and gets chalky, especially in the heat and environment down here in South Florida. Formula does a lot of things that uh, really help the boats uh, stay preserved and age gracefully, as I like to say. For example, metallic dash panels instead of plastic and, and high quality thread from Gore-Tex in the upholstery and, and many other things like that. So basically, if somebody were in the market for a pre-owned formula, they can almost expect the same fit and finish as on one of these beautiful brand new ones. Correct. The uh, people that look at the pre-owned are always very, very happy and the, it's one of the nice things about formula. They preserve their appearance and thus the value. Don't go away. Boat Show TV will be back in two minutes with continuing coverage of the Palm Beach International Boat Show from warm and sunny South Florida. What's before you? Is it the catch of a lifetime? A moment of courage? Or the thrill of being captain? 
For over 75 years, Mercury Marine has delivered countless boating experiences. Join us as we continue our adventures and power yours. With Mercury behind you, the world is before you. Boaters, if you enjoy performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Power Boat Club has everything you need. We plan the best events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations in Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the lifestyle. Social membership starts at just 69 bucks and includes the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPCT, exciting DVDs, and our great parties. Call our Pompano Beach headquarters, like us on Facebook, or visit flpowerboat.com. It's time to get in on the fun. In the world of racing, there's only one thing that matters, results. The pros are taking notice of the latest in fuel technology, Boostane. Boostane is an engineered octane concentrate that delivers on its promises. Promises that are documented by independent testing facilities, safe to use in any internal combustion engine. Boostane can achieve octane levels previously unattainable in the fuel additive market. Want race fuel at a fraction of the cost? Simply follow the quick ratio chart to achieve your desired octane level with Boostane. Welcome back to Boat Show TV. Up next, we continue our coverage of the Palm Beach International Boat Show with a stop at the Ocean Blue in-water display to take a look at a brand new 28-foot pursuit. Hi, I'm here at the West Palm Beach Boat Show with Joe Yeti from Pursuit Yachts. Joe, tell me about this new 28. The 28 Center is a, a new boat for 2014. We're really excited about it with its fish ability as well as creature comforts that will accommodate you whether you're uh, going out for the day here in South Florida or if you're cruising over the Bahamas to do some fishing for a week. Well, uh, I've had a chance to look at this boat and I love the way it's set up the options. Can you tell me something about that? Well, the boat is actually set up with uh, a lot of standard features from macerated fish boxes in the floor, insulated uh, fish boxes and drink coolers up forward, uh, large 52 gallon live well right here, as well as rup out riggers up top, Raymarine's uh, electronics are from the factory, as well as if you choose Garmin, we're more than happy to put that in for you. Tell me, what's the fuel capacity on a boat like this? Fuel capacity is 220 gallons. So that gives you a range of about 200 miles, or a little bit more? No, actually about 300. The boat's super efficient. Um, I see how you have it all laid out. I, I, I like how you have the tinted blue live well. It makes things, that makes the bait more relaxed before Absolutely. you feed them to the man in the blue suit out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually tell folks, they come in one way and we exhilarate them with as, as much water in the blue and uh, they go out more excited and they come in. Well, that's good, that's good. <laughs> um, what, now, is this seating back here also? Does that turn into a seat? Yeah, we actually have uh, designed our own uh, flush mount seating that deploys very easily, is very deep and supportive. Up next, here on Boat Show TV, we check in with show host Stu Jones to see how it's going over at the Florida Powerboat Club booth. Boat Show TV presented by the Florida Powerboat Club, and we're at every major boat show. I've got Courtney on my right, Angelica on my left. Girls, you're doing a great job of promoting the Florida Powerboat Club brand with all kinds of cool merchandise. What do we got going on, Courtney? Well, Stu, we're here all weekend and we're representing the Florida Powerboat Club. Uh, we're selling all kinds of nice merchandise. We've got shirts for men, women, and youth. Also, we're giving away our magazine that's normally $29 a year, quarterly. Uh, we're giving those for free here today. We got all kinds of cool stuff. We've got hats. We've got a ton of great stuff. So you'll have to make sure you stop by and check us out here. Angelica, your first show, you're uh, all the way from Sweden, but you live in Florida during the the winter months. Uh, we're going to try to keep you around for a little longer. Are you having fun on your first boat show? I'm having a lot of fun. Now, uh, what's been the hot item so far? Because I haven't seen a lot of, I haven't seen a lot of items going over the top of the table. Are they just not ready to buy yet, or do they just uh, want to come a closer look at the pretty exactly, girls? Exactly, I think so. And a lot of memberships, a new members. Good. We need to have those new members because new members is what keeps the club going. So, all you guys at home watching Boat Show TV, always remember whenever you go to every boat show. Florida Powerboat Club is going to be around there somewhere, so you got to find these lovely ladies.
Nautical Ventures in Dania Beach, Florida offers the most comprehensive line of marine and aquatic products that we have ever heard of. Check it out. Standing here with my friend Spence Milligan from Nautical Ventures. Uh, Spence, tell us what you got going on here today. Well, well, of course, we're real happy to be here at the Palm Beach Boat Show. You know, we actually tried to bring a good assortment of all the product lines that we carry. So we have everything here from yacht tenders to fiberglass boats to stand-up paddleboards, kayaks, sailboats, really everything, a small representation of our store. We try to get a small picture of everything we do. Well, Nautical Ventures is a new place in Dania, right? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Thanks for asking. We actually have a brand new 13,000 square foot showroom. Uh, we're real proud of it. Just finally finished construction after the Lauderdale show and uh, we actually ended up with 16,000 square foot service facility and we are all located right there on the C10 canal so we can do water demonstrations we get to do demos for boats for kayaks it doesn't matter what you're looking for we have the ability to test it right there and outfit it I see you have absolutely everything here inflatables um, um, kayaks uh, uh, pontoon boats what is it, y'all? I mean, t tell me everything that y'all sell over there. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a long list. I'm glad you asked. So what we do is uh, everything from high performance. Uh, we have Fountain. We do Baja, Donzi, Fountain. We do Key Largos, Centuries, Tahoes. Uh, as you mentioned, we do the Novaranias, we do Hobie kayaks, we do Hobie stand-up paddle. Uh, it really, if uh, the whole theme for our store is get on the water, and I think we truly encapsulate the idea of getting on the water and everything that's involved there. So you're, you're exactly right. It's really hard to. Someone said, "Give me all the brands." I'd almost have to have a sheet and have them written down. I mean, we do a lot of different things, but uh, the idea is the common thread is if it's water-related, service and or new purchase used, we do it all, and it's all at one location. That's the whole model. Boat Show TV will be right back. When we come back, the crew finds out about the fastest center console boat on the planet and rubs elbows with a familiar face. so many great experiences to share together. Marathon is the perfect place to keep your kids grounded and an even better place to watch them soar. Marathon in the Florida Keys. Looking for an amazing fish boat? It's time to experience Blackwater. They run 70 miles per hour, getting you to the fish faster. Check out our latest creation, the brand new 36 Sport model with full wraparound forward and rear seating and live wells too. Brand new and in stock starting at just $229.9. Get pre-approved now at BoatsDirectUSA.com to schedule a sea trial. Call now, toll free, 866-377-5403, mile marker 98, Key Largo. It's the Boat Show, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, October 30th through November 3rd. It's a family affair. See over 1,000 boats of all shapes and sizes with factory experts on site. Catch cruising, fishing and diving seminars, free kids fishing clinics, electronics, art, jewelry and fashion, food, drinks, live music and opening night fireworks. All at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, October 30th through November 3rd. Get discount tickets at showmanagement.com. Welcome back to Boat Show TV and our coverage of the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Up next, we deliver the goods, a potential world record boat, and a celebrity encounter, all at the Nortec display. Down at the south end of the Palm Beach Show, we've got the big show from Nortec High Performance. Scott Conrad from the factory on my left. Scott, you've got a nice display here. I'm going to say hi to Bob, too. Bob Crow, uh, Nortec, Fort Lauderdale, and you've got a beautiful boat we're on right now. First to you, Scott, three boats here. What have we got? Uh, we've got the new 39 center console here that Bob put together with the triple sevens. We have a 34 with twin 350 Yamahas, a little bit more fishing-oriented boat. And then on the outside, we've got our 420 Monte Carlo. You said the key word, uh, fishing, obviously this show covers all areas of boating. Fishing is big here at the Palm Beach Show, but only one of the three a fishing boat. New for Nortec, going more towards the fishing line. So tell us more about the fishing line of boats that Nortec sells. Well, the center consoles, all of them, the 29, the 34, and the 39, we kind of vary them in, in a direction for the customer, what they want. They customize it towards an entertaining, um, fun type of a boat, or all the way through a full tournament fish boat. Yep. Uh, the boat that we brought here is a little bit combination. It's kind of 
got fishing aspects with a little bit of luxury. And, and more on this 777 Marine boat, it is yeah. just over the top. I mean, you really built a nice machine here. It, it was a, a lot of thought and a lot of time went in before making the decision to do this boat. Um, you know, the way we figure out what we're going to build, of course, is from customer input. Uh, so we found more and more people were coming out of the high performance world and they wanted to see a center console really go fast. Right. And, and that's, that's where this was born. Uh, but part of it is, with this kind of boat, it's not about fishing. So you, you don't end up doing all the live wells right. and the rod holders and that type of thing. But you do have to focus on seating, comfort, yes. and, and, the, and the kind of the creature comforts of things like cup holders and where they would go. Yeah. So there's a lot of attention uh, to detail put into that. And the boat does 90 miles an hour. So uh, it's kind of exciting. By the way, and it goes 90, okay? Yeah, yeah. you know, the 90 mile an hour thing, we didn't want to say anything about it until we saw it. We kind of figured we would make it, but uh, we made it, and now here we are. Uh, obviously, Nortec High Performance, a big brand that has been involved in the high-performance boating scene for close to two decades now. Been very, very highly involved with our show sponsor, Florida Powerboat Club. I can testify to that. Owning a Nortec for three years, a 39 high-performance Super V with triple or with twin uh, Mercury Racing 700s, it was a great experience. Hey, we got some uh, choppers rolling into the uh, boat show here. What, what we got? This is part of your display, Bob. Did you set this up? We've got some. We've got some uh, motorcycle celebrities coming in. Well, there's always a celebrity at every boat show, and this time it's not me, no? Unfortunately not. We've got uh, Paul Sr., Paul Tuttle from Orange County Choppers, who's actually digging the boats lately, rolled into town. Uh, but well, you rolled a bunch of bikes into town yeah, here. Tell us what we got right here. This here is an Aragon bike. Uh, probably built this in 05. Uh, it was built after the movie, the Aragon bike. Uh, so that, we have the Lincoln bike. These, yeah. these bikes, we have a museum, so yeah. we've had these bikes for quite some time now. Now, we've seen these ones on the TV show, these, ones, yeah. these two here, but the one on the end is more of a production bike that you build and sell it's now, not right? not really a production bike. We opened up our own cafe. I so see. that was, if you look at it, it says a cafe bike on it. So. I see. Each cafe that we open up, uh, we, you know, there's a bike with it. So you're having fun with uh, the bike still. You're having a little bit of fun with boats. Huh? So far, have you been around the show? Have you seen a boat you like? Obviously, this one is turning a lot of heads. It's a cat's ass right here. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it really is. It really looks good with the, with the bikes. But I haven't really had too much time to uh, walk around. Um, it's kind of hard to walk around. But, yeah, uh, yeah, but... <laughs> I might get here early tomorrow and see what, because uh, it's really interesting. You know, I haven't really done... Uh, too many boat shows, but right. uh, we've been doing a lot of car shows lately uh, yeah. and bike shows, you know. Well, the, you know, the crossovers there, when you're talking high performance, anything that's of a show nature, obviously these boats are head turners. Uh, we deal in a high performance market as well. Obviously this shows a lot of uh, fishing boats and yachts and beautiful stuff, but when you put something like this at the show, like this Nortec with triple sevens, it turns a lot of heads, opens a lot of eyes, and definitely a good crossover with the bikes. Yeah, I think it's a good crossover. For one, it's made in America. Right. And I think that's uh, that's really important, and I think it's all about the technology, yeah. uh, the passion, and you know it's all about the next step. And you know these guys uh, built a boat here that did 90 miles an hour, uh, probably world record, and we have a, a bike that we built, electric bike that holds that holds three world records. So I think the you know the combination, you know, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a great fit. We want to say thanks to Nortec and Paul Sr. for a great display. Don't go away. When Boat Show TV continues, we'll take a look at a great local marina and check out two more respected boat brands. Hey, wait a minute. I know that face. It's not your everyday face, but I know it. It's a face of joy, of calm, a face of exhilaration, even surprise. Oh, I know where I've seen that face. Welcome to the water. Step into boating with our free DVD at discoverboating.com.
may not all be in the same boat, but out on the water, we're all on the same wavelength. In the Florida Keys and Key West. Welcome back to Boat Show TV as we wrap up our coverage of the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Let's join co-host Don Mull at the Regulator in-water display. Hey Chris, how you doing today? Doing great, how are you? I'm well, tell me about this brand new Regulator we got standing here next to us. This is a 34 center console. It's actually 38 foot 10 inches overall to the back of the engine, so it's a very large 34. It carries 350 gallons of fuel on board, so it gives you a lot of good cruising range. It's one of, the, uh, one of the standout options for this boat is when you go down underneath the console, it actually has an air-conditioned head and V-berth underneath, so you get the best of both worlds. And as you look at the front of the boat, it has a pop-up table in the front of the boat, so it's a very hardcore fishing boat, or it's great for the cocktail cruise, the evening cruise, or just going to the beach. Or even a tender for a big yacht. Absolutely. We do a lot of tenders in this model. I, I, I've been looking at it, and I find it to be finished, fit, really, really nice. I like the way you did everything on the interior. Um, tell me about your live wells, tell me about the fishability. It's got a 28-gallon live well in the stern with a split fish box on the other side. You can do an optional second live well in the boat of 38-gallon, built into a tackle center leaning post if you choose to for the guys that are really hardcore live bait guys. And we have a full tackle center in this boat which has extra leader spools, everything built in. So we, we think about the, the sportsman going out fishing. Our last interview for today's show features the brand new Jupiter 41 SportBridge model. I'm here with Todd from Jupiter Boats. Todd, would you tell us about this beautiful sport fish we're on? We're standing on the 41 Sport Bridge. This is a new introduction for us uh, this past year. Uh, it's certainly a one of a kind for an outboard powered boat to have a fully enclosed Sport Bridge configuration uh, powered by the triple uh, V8 Yamahas. This is a boat that uh, was really uh, bred from customer demand. We had a lot of our clients who are uh, big boat customers, uh, you know, 60, 70 plus foot uh, sport fishes. They were looking to downsize. They were still looking for all that fishability that they have on their sport fish as far as large cockpits, uh, cabin amenities, things like that. Um, but they were looking for something with shallower draft that they can start exploring different areas in the Bahamas and the Caribbean uh, without having those draft issues. Uh, this boat, we've got uh, a transom live well, uh, one of the big requests from, from the guys that uh, actually go out and catch their own baits and, versus buying them. They wanted the bait wells back on the transom. Still affords us to have the, uh, the, the seating up here, the mezzanine seating in the cockpit, so we sit uh, facing aft watching your trolled baits. Uh, this boat, as you see, is outfitted with the tower. Uh, Gigi Schmidt built this tower for us, outfitted with uh, Rupp outriggers. Uh, we got a 27 foot tournament uh, series outriggers on they it. Look nice. uh, they look nice. It, look it definitely nice. gives you a, a big boat feel and a smaller package. What kind of fuel capacity? Um, this, each one of these boats is built per customer specs. This particular one has 480 gallons on board, um, you know, giving us a, a 400 mile range. Uh, but if customers want, us, want more fuel, that's the way we build it. Okay, um, how many does this sleep? Uh, this boat comfortably will sleep four. Five if you uh, convert the dinette table to uh, another berth. Okay, all right. And it, and how's it running from up from the bridge upstairs? It's, it's an exceptional ride from up up top. This one we did uh, outfit with a tuna tower, so you are a little bit higher. The visibility is outstanding. Uh, but you know you got a big heavy boat. We got a 12 and a half foot beam. Uh, you got 480 gallons center line here in the cockpit. Um, 24,000 pounds overall. It sits real stable, and you know riding up there is nice and comfortable. To wrap up our show. We thought we'd show you a great place to stay with your boat in Palm Beach. Whether you are in town for the Palm Beach International Boat Show or just need some Florida sun, Sailfish Marina Resort has everything you need to enjoy a boating getaway and is the closest marina to the Palm Beach Lake Worth Inlet. It's just over 30 miles southbound to Fort Lauderdale and due east, the islands of the Bahamas are less than 70 miles away. Besides great docking facilities, the marina features waterfront dining for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with daily specials from the chef. Sport fishing activities on this site have been continuous since the late 1940s with the current footprint of the Sailfish Marina Resort finalized in 1977. The docks can accommodate 94 boats from 25 feet up to 110 feet in length. Each slip has full power, cable, water, and phone connections. You can contact Sailfish Marina Resort at 561-844-1724. Email them at info at sailfishmarina.com or view their website at www.sailfishmarina.com.
Thanks for watching this episode of Boat Show TV. We'll be back in Palm Beach for more of the Palm Beach International Boat Show for our next episode before the Boat Show TV crew moves on to the next boat show. Our next episode will feature yachts, power boats, and fishing boats. See you next time on Boat Show TV.